Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 Caps Scaler. Uh, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm purposely showing you a movie, Terminator Judgment Day, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, 4K usually Blu-ray version running via OPPO. I'm purposely showing you it, running it on Samsung KS8000 this way because I want you guys to see that edge lit and, and how much of an issue that edge lit is. You see how bright those uh, black bars are? Uh, they're not supposed to be bleeding light like that, okay? Uh, this is something you're going to encounter on the uh, edge lid. This is something, if you are sitting like this, you're going to notice that problem, you know. And when you are watching it from the side like this, or even a little bit left to like this, you will notice the, those bright levels which are right over here. You see that light? You see that light emitting top to bottom? And when I turn like this, you see it even more. You see it? That's the edge lid. That's the edge lid, guys. That's not going to be an issue here with a Sony X900E. Okay? You see that edge lid down at the bottom? Right here? That light? Now, if I move to a uh, Sony X900E, you will not notice this uh, edge lit on this movie. So let me switch to X900E Sony, and I'm going to watch it from an angle like this, and you will see that you're not going to notice any of that light. Let's switch to uh, Sony X900E. So here we are, Sony X900E, and you see how those levels are so nicely uh, adjusted uh, deep dark levels are nicely adjusted here I am watching it from the corner and you can barely see that light sure there's gonna be some light here and there but look how am I watching this TV from uh, from an angle like this and you can barely see it so Sony X 900 E is giving you a much more better clarity that's due to the one fact that it's using a full array of local dimming and this is what you're getting with a full array of local dimming i purposely put this tv in a dark room so now it's even more darker yes i went to a trouble to put in the dark room and i'm watching it from an angle and look how deep dark levels are you're not getting any bleeding light here whatsoever the black bars are as, as deep as dark as they can be and if i if i watch it this way it, it, it gets even better like from the center. So you're definitely getting a much better clarity on, on Sony X900E. Uh, here's my opinion. I have nothing against Samsung KS8000. I have the TV. But you got to watch that TV from the center at all times. And at night, when you turn the lights off, you're definitely going to notice that bleeding light. With Sony X900E, you'll never have to worry about that. It doesn't matter from which angle you're watching it. Because it has excellent deep dark levels, uh, it has full array of local dimming, and also it has the uh, black level adjustments, they're courtesy of uh, X1 processing chip. So it gives you those excellent deep dark levels as well. All right, And you will see a drastic difference when I move to a Samsung KS8000. Uh, you also have to keep in mind, it's kind of hard for my camera to depict this, but that's why I'm bringing it closer like this, okay? I'm using my GoPro Hero 5 1440p uh, camera. I turn off my low light, so that way we can depict every tiny little detail of light. So I'm going to switch back to uh, Samsung KS8000 with this exact same scene of a movie, and you will see uh, the bleeding light that you're going to see. So in about three seconds, let's do it. One, two three and the drastic difference i mean you see that edge lid that edge lid bleed you see that you can definitely see it you can see it clearly you can clearly see it here on this television now this is going to change once i move it to the center once i move it to the center this is going to change you see once i go to the center everything is fine Everything looks good. But even when I move to the center, you can still see at the bottom. You see it right here? Let me zoom in. You see that edge lid bleed? You see that bleeding edge lid right there? You see it? Now, this is the issue that you're always going to have with the edge lid. And this is why I'm not a huge fan of the edge lid. 
But that's the only sacrifice you're getting with Samsung KS8000. Uh, besides the edge lid, this TV has excellent peak brightness, excellent white color gamut, uh, but it, it, the edge lid is something, in my opinion, that's a, it's a big issue. That's going to, you know, kill that experience, especially if you're watching it at night and you're sitting from left to right uh, or if you have a guest, if you are watching this movie in a very bright lit up room or living room, you're going to be okay. No one's going to notice that. And I'm going to show you that demo right now. Okay, so I turned on my lights. See, when you turn on the lights on, when you lit up the room, uh, I do have my lamp and everything. I turned it on. The light is on. You still notice it, but it's not to the point where it's like uh, the way it was before. You know, you still see it a little bit, but it's less noticeable when you have the lights on. But when you turn the lights off, you're definitely going to see it. The light is off and you're going to see it right now. See it right there? You see that light? It's still there. It's bleeding. And you're going to be fine. If you're watching it from the center, you're going to be okay. Okay? If you're watching it from the center, you're going to be alright. You know? But as soon as you move it to the left and right, uh, that's it. You see what happens? From the from the center of when you move it left and right, you see that bleeding light. You see it. That's what you get. That bleeding light right there. And you move to the center, and you're okay. You know, but you can still even from the center at the bottom, you can still see it. You can still see that top to bottom. And the reason I chose this movie because of the ratio and the black bars, because it truly shows up with these black bars. You can tell if the edge lid has that issue uh, top to bottom. And if I turn the lights on, you're not going to notice it here. You see, when it's a lit up room, when you, lit, when you lit up this room with light, then you don't notice it. But you do get the benefit of that peak brightness. You know, uh, you don't notice it as much when it's in the dark. You will definitely notice that edge lid in a dark room at night. Oh, you're going to say, oh, Jesus, look at this bleeding light top to bottom, you know. So me personally, here here's a here's situation. Uh, I personally recommend uh, full array local dimming. Uh, TCL right now has 72 local dimming zones, and TCL honestly will give you that that perfect deep dark levels for LCD with a really good price with Dolby Vision. You're gonna get a decent uh, peak brightness, but um, if you want a really well adjusted TV with a little bit higher peak brightness. Excellent processing chip. I would say Sony X900E is definitely a good uh, mid-range TV to go with. If you can reach out, go for uh, X930E, will, which is going to give you even more local dimming zones and much better processing and much better deep dark levels, meaning you'll be able to watch it from a, a different viewing angles much better. All right, so let's switch to X900E. In about three seconds. One, two, three. So anyway, bottom line is this. Uh, if you want the deep dark levels, if you want to be able to watch this movie from any angle, then this is it. Uh, Sony X900E is definitely going to give you that. It's definitely going to give you that. There's no question about that. It's going to have much better deep dark levels. It's not going to be... As you see, this is what you want. It's as deep dark levels as you can get. And you're going to get that. With a full real local dimming and a X1 processing chip with deep dark levels adjustment. You can adjust these deep dark levels even higher if you want. Okay, and that's what you're going to be getting with the X900E. So overall, if you're going to ask me personally, uh, which one should you get? Look guys, X900E uh, definitely will give you a much better balanced picture quality. It's not going to have that super high end peak brightness. But it has enough peak brightness to make it look good. All right, the one issue with Samsung KS8000, and I'm saying the KS8000, it's a bad TV. It's not a bad TV, but you're going to have to deal with that uh, edge lit issue, okay? You're going to have to deal with that edge lit issue whether you like it or not. You will be getting that peak brightness, which is excellent for HDR, and you're also going to be getting that full white color gamut, which is also necessary for HDR. So you're going to have a good HDR experience when you're watching it at the center, okay? But, again... Once you turn off the lights, once you start watching it from a left or right, if you're sitting on an angle on your sofa chair, whatever, uh, you will notice that uh, bleeding light, especially on, on a 75-inch 
TV of Samsung KS8000. You're going to notice that edge lid. Same thing goes for the QLED. QLED is an edge lid as well. So this is the issue you're going to be dealing with with the uh, edge lid TVs. Thank God that Samsung's not going to be making any more edge lid TVs and hopefully no one will ever make any more edge lit TVs. It's the stupidest idea for LCD. It should be avoided. Full array of local dimming as as much as possible. Try to put these local dimming zones, as many local zones as you can. Put them on the LCD, LED backlit TVs. Uh, that's the only way to avoid that bleeding light and that's the only way I think to, su to superbly get those deep dark levels adjusted. So there you have it, guys. This is the uh, uh, comparison between uh, edge lit versus uh, FALD, full array of local dimming. And uh, as you can see, obviously, full array of local dimming wins here versus the edge lit Samsung KS8000. So obviously, it's it's a clear and cut case. Edge lit sucks. Full array of local dimming, it's a must have for an LCD. LED TV. If you're looking for LCD LED TV, you got to look for the local dimming zones. If that thing has like a, or doesn't have full array local dimming zones, or if it has a, a low count of local dimming zones, uh, then don't buy it. Look for the ones that have huge ratio of local dimming zones and extra features like this Sony TV has. So yeah, Sony X900E, definitely, I, it's a highly recommended TV. If you can get it for a really good price like I did, you really can't go wrong, guys. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed with this TV. This TV has a lot of features built in into it, which I'm going to cover under the official review, along with the uh, Google Chromecast, Android TV. There's a truck of the features that this TV has, besides just a full array of local dimming and the X1 processing chip. All right, so that's something you need to take into consideration. And it's going to work really great with your 4K player, with the Oppo, with the Xbox One X, it's gonna you're definitely gonna be experiencing the 4K HDR experience. All right, you're gonna be getting that great 4K uh, cinema and gaming HDR experience. There's no question about that. But if you go with the 930e, you're gonna get that Dolby Vision. So let's just keep that in, in check. So there you have it, guys. I showed it to you. You've seen it. Uh, this is really clear and cut case. It's a no-brainer. Obviously. Full array of local dimming wins big time over edge lit. And everybody, even manufacturers, know that the edge lit is garbage and the full array of local dimming is the way to go. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Take care. And don't forget to check out my live stream tonight at 5 p.m. Thank you.